Hello Pitu students, how are you doing? Welcome back to Science Lesson Harapan Prestasi Primary School with me, Miss Rosa. Today, we are going to continue our discussion in Unit 1, Light and Dark. So, we are focusing on how a shadows form. Are you ready for the lesson? So, let's start. Before we know further, I will tell you the learning objective for this topic. The students are able to identify shadows. Then, in this topic, you will also learn the vocabulary such as dark and shadow. Can you see the dark areas on the grass? How are they formed? I will tell you here. When the trees block the sun's light, dark areas are formed on the grass. These are shadows. And a shadow is formed when light is blocked. How is shadow formed? Shadow is nothing but the light cannot pass through an object and causes shadow formed. But you can only see shadows of objects that are visible to eyes. For example, a tree will have a shadow like this. So does the human. Let's take a look how is the size of a shadow. It was Mr. Deer again. Hey! You got to see how Mr. Deer changes in size. There's a reason behind it. When I move the lights away from my hand, the shadow becomes smaller in size. And when I bring the light source near, the shadow becomes large. When you put the light source just over the object, you get the shortest shadow. Whoa! Mr. Deer looks so small now. Hmm. Now you know that the size of a shadow depends on the distance between the light source and the object. I want to find out more about shadows. Tom blocks the light from a torch or flashlight with his hand. My question. First, does the shadow of Tom's hand have any color? And the second one, does it have the same shape and size as Tom's hand? Do you know what are the answers? Wow, great! So, let's answer the first one. Yes, the shadow is black and the shadow has the same shape as Tom's hand. But can you see the size here? Okay, they are different. Good. Now, Aisha wants to form a shadow of Tom's hand on the floor. How should she shine the flashlight? Okay, great! She should shine the flashlight above Tom's hand. How far is it clear for the explanation? Okay, great! So let's recap what we have learned. First, a shadow is a dark area formed when light is blocked. And things can form shadows of different shapes and sizes. This is the end of our lesson. Thank you for watching until the end. So be happy, stay healthy, see you on the next lesson.